everyone, welcome to this new video. I'm gonna be having a spring clear out of my packs wardrobes. As you can see, this door's hardly shutting. It's so full of winter stuff. I need to get everything out. I'm gonna be moving shelving. I'm gonna add some more drawers. I'm gonna find some storage bags that actually store your stuff properly and put it under the bed. Get my spring stuff out, have a spring clean, get myself more organized. I find organizing really does help me. So I'm gonna get on with it. So if you're new around here, do check out my other videos. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. I upload new videos every week. I have these wonderful wardrobes linked on my channel. I also recently did some wardrobes for my husband using IKEA packs. I've got lots of different hacks on my channel. So do check those out. So let's get on with the spring refresh. Now, as you can see, it's pretty full. It's looking pretty dark. There's a lot of winter stuff in here. I'm also gonna be taking out this section because I've just built a new PAX vanity unit right behind me. I've got a new video on that on my channel to store stuff like this and handbags and makeup and all sorts of stuff. So that's all coming out and I'm gonna be completely redoing it. This storage box up here, I have not touched since I put it up there. I'm gonna pack away winter. I will leave a few lightweight jumpers and stuff, um, but I'm really gonna have a good clear out. I know summer and spring, summer is coming, so I'm gonna get it all packed away. So this is before, so I'm gonna get on with clearing it all out and let's get it all empty and restyled for spring. The cat's come to help. I've started clearing out and I've got rather a lot of stuff to pack away. Um, putting away anything that's like Christmassy or autumn-y or anything, I'm putting it all away. Clean washing to put away. Uh, so this is the current situation. Cat's loving it. So I'm going to clear out all the drawers. I'm going to get everything out. I started clearing that out as well because it is only March and it's still cold. So keep your thin jumpers out. Uh, I'm going to change all of this and might even get that out and put that in a storage thing and then maybe even move this up change this around a little bit because i think i'd like to have this for tops and long lightweight tops shirts and blouses because i've got a couple that i bought for summer but they're just that bit too long that for holiday and i don't want to put them in here because this is kind of jumpers and stuff so we're going to have a complete move round uh, before I start setting up for spring. My storage bags have arrived. I've bought these in the past and they've not been great, if I'm honest, but I did my research and I bought a brand that had thousands of reviews that were actually pretty good. Obviously a few that people didn't like them, but the majority was pretty good. So I went for this. It's a pack of six. And it says each one holds 10 to 12 sweaters. So this huge pile I'm going to start packing up this huge pile and I'll uh, let you know if I think they're any good. Okay, so I've moved it up so pleased i did that the shelf i had there and the storage box i hadn't touched it since i put it up there so it was pointless and now i can get longer shirt type stuff in so that's a lot better so i'm happy about that i'm going to sort out my drawers i'm hanging on my trousers and then i'm going to start on that one these are all ready to go under the bed they're quite good i did some yesterday so they overnighted and the air hasn't come out i haven't bought any before that had this catch on which is how you really make sure that's tight. And I did use a little hand pump that came with it. So they're all right, we shall see. Also, I can't report back on if they actually remain like that until I take them out when it's winter, but I'm gonna pop these under the bed. This is gonna go under the bed and then I'm gonna start working on that bit. So I'll update you when I've got a little bit further on. Okay, so I've built the drawers, I've put them in. When you have these, you can't, Put them too low because that gets in the way you have to have a basket but i actually don't want a basket i actually think the basket is quite expensive i think they're 25 pounds and then you have to spend five pounds buying the bracket so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to get some crates that fit in perfectly and use it as a little storage area because i've got the two drawers now which is i think much better all of this stuff is going to be going behind me so i yeah i'm going to do that on the bottom so i'm going to have a little bit of a fiddle around 
and I'll show you my spring wardrobe refresh when I finish. So here we go, here is my new improved cupboard. Took that top shelf out, that was just serving no purpose and it means I can get lots of longer tops in. So I really like that, I've done them a little bit colour coded. Definitely trying to wear less black, but I still have a fair bit, but got some colours in there. Empty drawers, the top two, got a few t-shirts in that one, but literally that's all I've got. And then in this one, these are brand new shoes. They've not been worn outside or would never have shoes in a wardrobe. That have been worn these are summer clothes so I, every time i buy something for my summer holiday i'm gonna pop it in here love these trousers if you've seen them on tiktok they are amazing then this wardrobe again color coordinated it a little bit a uh, little bit less black uh these are jumpers not i've taken away like christmasy ones and real thick ones i've left a few in there because it's still freezing cold it's march in england so it's cold uh, but they are much better spread out. I really feel I know where all my clothes are. They're all hanging up neatly. It's so much better now. So it's definitely worth doing this. I've got some more trousers out. Lots of summer trousers. And then summer trousers in that bottom tray. So that does pull out. It's kind of a trouser overflow. I really rate these. I think they're really good. These pull out trays I think are very good. So here is my tray need to get some more stuff on this put a few bits some sunglasses bits but again i love these trays that's that bit and then in here we have the same of this is kind of still wintry to kind of coat things really but here i've put in two of the drawers this one here has now got a pack of these scub things from ikea so that's all got my gym bits in it and then the top one is now underwear so I bought some of those sectional cubes and they're really good. So there we go. That is my pack spring update. I'm super happy with it now. I feel like I've got so much more space. It's much better organised. That's the best thing about packs. You can tweak them. So I've had this for a year and I was struggling with that being a little bit tight because I had the shelf. So now that's all gone much, much better. Loving my two extra drawers that I've put in here. I really, really, after using it for a year, really like the trouser one. I think it's so much easier to hang trousers. I really recommend that if you're looking. One other thing I would say is if I was doing it again, I would absolutely put in the hard wide lighting. I've got a full video review on my channel of how to fit it and what I think it's much, much better. So if you've got the option, I would re definitely recommend doing that. So I hope you found that helpful. Check out the other videos on my channel. I've got loads of IKEA hacks and loads of IKEA updates. And I wanna say thank you very much for watching. Do give me a comment below. Have you got a PAX? Are you thinking about doing a PAX? Do you not pack your stuff away? Have you got so much storage you don't need to? Let me know. I'll link the bags in the description box below because they're actually really good. They're under the bed. Uh, if you are looking for a bed as well, do check out my review on my dusk bed. It's been seen by a lot of people. It's quite a controversial review. There's a mixed bag of uh, comments in the comments. Do read those. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video.